writing a resume in 2025? If you're not using AI, you're already behind. But here's the thing, most job seekers are using it the wrong way and it's actually hurting their chances of getting hired. In this episode, I'll show you six powerful AI prompts that will help you write a polished, ATS friendly and recruiter approved resume in minutes. Craft a compelling summary and optimize your resume with the right keywords, all while making sure it still sounds like you. And because I wanna see you land your dream job faster, I have a special one-time only offer for my career advancement toolkit, my most popular career resource packed with resume templates, cover letter guides, and job search strategies. Here's the thing, the first 20 people to click the link in the description will get exclusive access at a deal you won't find anywhere else. So if you're ready to supercharge your resume and your job search, let's dive in. Hey, I'm Heather Austin, a university professor turned entrepreneur, and I help job seekers land their dream roles with simple, actionable strategies that work. If you're ready to level up your job search, tap the like button, hit subscribe, and let's jump right in. I do wanna share with you guys some of the most important features or parts of an ATS-friendly resume. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what the ATS is, what key features you need to think about with the ATS. I wanna talk to you about also how you're writing your resume for ATS and the human reader because we need to think of both of them at the same time. We'll talk a little bit about your achievement statements and then really the power of keywords. So if you do not know what the ATS system is, all you need to remember here is it's a some sort of software tool, software application, AI system that streamlines the hiring process for employers. So they're really looking at reviewing your, your information, ranking your information, and filtering you based on what they know about you. So it's super important that you're getting in the door and making sure you are getting all the right information to them so that they can invite you in for an interview and then hopefully you're landing the job offer. So here's another article that we found from Forbes and this was a study done by the Harvard Business School. They did a study and they found that 88% of employers believe that qualified candidates, so this could be you, were filtered out by screening software. So why is this happening? Why are qualified candidates getting filtered out by their screening software? It's because you're not putting in the required information so that you're not filtered out. So I'm gonna share with you how you need to do that. Now take a screenshot of this next screen if you want to. The key features of an ATS friendly resume, so I want you to keep this in mind. And by the way, when I share with you guys, if you do not already have the, the career advancement toolkit, we have specific resume writing video lessons that take you through each each of the sections of your resume so that you know how to write your resume. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail on that today, but here's just a quick overview of what you need to make sure you're doing to make sure your resume is ATS friendly. So of course, we're using standard headings. What this means is things like work experience, education, technical skills. We're not gonna get creative with our headings. We're using standard headings. We're not going to have an overly creative designed resume. Now, I mentioned this on the last live stream. I use Canva a lot for lots of different things. Do not go to Canva to create your resume. Please, 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 please do not do that. If you create your resume on Canva, an ATS system cannot read your creative, beautiful looking resume. You need to keep it simple. You also wanna stick to clean layouts, right? So again, we're not going to use graphics. We're not going to insert pictures. We're not going to insert weird bullet points. We're not doing any of that. You also want to make sure you use standard fonts. I think we have all of our resume templates right now in Cambria. If you wanted to change it to Times New Roman, you could. If you wanted to change it to Calibri, you could do that as well. And then of course, we're always avoiding tables and columns. So the picture that I have on the left, this is actually one of our free resume templates that we have. I also have an example of a two page resume in there where I give you all the different options that you can add to a second page if you do have a second page, but just know you're ke keeping it simple and clean. One more thing that's not on the screen here, I want you to avoid, or excuse me, I want you to think about how you're submitting your resume. So you either wanna have a PDF or a Word. If it's in Word, it's actually preferred 
by the ATS because it's easier for them to read that. However, if you're submitting it to a person, I want you to have it in a PDF format. Now there's three main sections of the resume you have to keep in mind. These are the most, most important ideas when it comes to the resume. And again, I have specific lessons inside of the toolkit that will help you actually write your resume if you're interested in joining us there. So you always wanna make sure when we're writing the ATS, we're writing for the ATS and the humans. So this is both of them combined. You wanna focus on clarity. So this is where you're really focusing on your measurable achievements. You're going to use action words if you need to. Well, not if you need to, but you need to use action verbs. You're going to use numbers. You're going to be very specific on what it is that you've done. And I'll show an example of that in a second. The resume summary in my opinion, is still one of the most important pieces of a resume. Now, I have a very specific structure or framework that I follow when I teach you how to write your resume summary. Some resumes might have a larger summary um, than others. It just depends on your experience, your talents, the position you're applying for, the industry you're in. But the resume summary, hands down, is the very first place that they're going to look to learn more about you. And then of course your work experience. So you need to make sure when you're writing your work experience that you're prioritizing your responsibilities based on the position that you are applying for. Now again, I'm gonna share with you in a minute a prompt that will help you kind of get started on your resume. If you have not yet downloaded the free ATS friendly resume pack, make sure you do that because that's going to give you some more prompts to work with to help you write your work experience section. Now, when it comes to the work experience or your bullet point, so this is probably one of the next most important parts of your resume, I want you to keep this formula in mind. So take a screenshot of this if you want. This is a new formula. I want you to think about, you're going to analyze the job posting, right? So I'm gonna give you a prompt for that in just a second. You want to align that job posting with keywords, with skills and with experiences that are being highlighted in the posting. And then you need to adapt, okay? So you need to adapt your resume, your resume summary, the title, the order of your achievements to show the versatility of the role. Now, I know this is a lot to digest here. Take a screenshot of this. Hopefully this is a really, really, really good refresher to help you remember how to really structure your resume. Now, I wanna share an example of with you when we're talking about writing your bullet points for your resume. So we have a before our bullet point is ATS optimized and we have an after our bullet point is ATS optimized. And by the way, we look at hundreds of resumes every week here and we always get these blanket statements that are something like worked on sales team and met targets, right? Well, what's missing from that? That's just a blanket statement. You're not really telling me a lot about what the results were. You're not really telling me a lot about how you got there. You're just saying worked on sales team and met targets. So if we wanna ATS optimize this, we're gonna say something like achieved 120% of quarterly sales targets by identifying new business opportunities and cultivating client relationships. I do have a formula for how you follow this, but again, we're not gonna dive super deep into the resume because that's in the toolkit and then I have other master classes I have for that. But what I want you to keep in mind here, we have a quantifiable achievement. We're actually sharing the result at the beginning, which is amazing. We're telling them, what we've done and we're telling them what that looks like, right? So we cultivated client relationships, we identified new business opportunities, and that helped us achieve 120% of quarterly sales. So again, we're not gonna just do one quick little sentence. We need to really explain what it is we've done, what the task is and what the result was of that. So keep that in mind when you guys are writing your achievement statements for your resume and even for your LinkedIn profile. Now I wanna share a quick prompt with you. This is inside of the ATS Friendly Resume Pack. If you don't have that, again, go to Heather Austin dot online slash resume pack. I call it chat GPT, but it's AI because I'm alternating between AI tools right now. I use both of them, um, Gemini and chat GPT, but this is a prompt that you can use if you're trying to figure out, and again, this comes back to the power of keywords. If you're trying to figure out 
what do I need to make sure I mention in my resume? So I'm going to say something like, here's a job description for a position I'm interested in. Can you analyze it and identify the top 10 to 15 key skills required for this role? And I'm going to paste the job description in. Let me share with you guys this sheet really quick. So let me see if I can get to it. Here we go. Okay, so this sheet here, this is actually the Google Doc that you will look at when you download your ATS Friendly Resume Pack. You'll get a folder with your resume template, your resume example, and a handful of prompts. This prompt is in here, along with a bunch of other prompts. This is kind of your starting point to using AI in some way. So make sure that you download that so that you have access to the prompts and you have access to the resume template and so on and so forth. Now, before you go, I have a quick question for you. What's your biggest struggle when writing your resume? Let me know in the comments or DM me on LinkedIn. I would love to hear from you. And if you're serious about landing your next big opportunity, don't miss out on the Career Advancement Toolkit. This is my most popular career resource and and for a limited time, the first 20 people can get exclusive access at a deal you won't find anywhere else. Just click the link in the description or show notes to grab your enrollment. Oh, and don't forget to download your free ATS Friendly Resume Pack. It includes a winning resume template, a proven resume example, and AI-powered prompts to help you land your interviews faster. The link is waiting for you below, so go grab it now. If this episode helped you, hit that like button, subscribe, and if you're listening on the podcast, I would love for you to take a few seconds to rate and review. It seriously makes a huge difference. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you in the next one.